Hey, it's Steve from Objects Unlimited. Artec 3D has given me a brand new scanning tool with the release of Artec Studio 19. This is my scanning tool. There are some amazing new photogrammetry features that allow me to create incredibly good scans uh, just from uh, videos or photos. So I'm going to scan this chair with my phone right now. Oh, I'm scanning. So what we want is a bunch of shots, ideally keeping the same field of uh, depth of field around the object. I'm gonna take about a 45 second video here and then I'll extract the photos from that video in Artex Studio. And I promise you, you will not believe uh, what this thing can do. All right, that should be good. So come with me, let's stop this data in the computer, see what happens. Okay, so I've converted my video from a, an iPhone uh, movie into an MP4, uh, just to make it easier to import. So now I'm going to import my video. So the first step is to do what's called dense reconstruction. So we go to our tools menu or sparse reconstruction, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna run a sparse reconstruction. This will take about three or four minutes. What it's gonna do is it's gonna create a rough point cloud of what it's seen. I'm going to adjust the bounding box to keep the chair in the field of view, and then we're gonna do a dense reconstruction. A few moments later. All right, so sparse reconstruction has finished. It took uh, 280 seconds on my admittedly not very amazing computer. So this is uh, what we have as a bounding box. So the next step here is I'm going to I'm going to bound it. I'm going to tell it where to actually look. Uh, obviously, it's seeing a lot of stuff outside of the frame. This is super common in photogrammetry. So now I have my sparse reconstruction. I'm going to use a dense reconstruction. There's a couple tools here. I'm going to use a high definition mode, a normal level of detail, and I'm going to run this. All right, it took 18 minutes and 50 seconds to build this mesh, and uh, man, oh man, look at that. That is built from photographs. No, it's not perfect, but man, that is really, really excellent. I'm going to add some texture onto this thing. Man, look at that. The mesh comes through. If I had got underneath here, I think I would have got lots more uh, information. So of course, uh, using Arctic Studios tools, I could flip this chair over and scan it in a line and get a full uh, 360 scan. Um, but I don't know if it's necessary for something like this. 